Same old thing. We down there in L.A., back and forth, uh, recording, um, going to the studio, just working. And somehow, I don't know how people had called us. Pop called me <laughs> and was like, come to the studio. Can you come to the studio? You know, I'm working. So when I get there, he's already recording. He's in the mix of working on the track of Hit Em Up. And so, um, and this was like the height. It's like we was at war for some reason. We all felt like it was a whole war against the East Coast, right? Mm -hmm. And so, um, you know, Pocky and that riled up the energies like his own 10, right? So me, Sheik, um, uh, Rick Rock, uh, I think Marvelous was there. Um, uh, and uh, who else? Um, the Outlaws was there. Uh, Left Eye was there. And then uh, I ended up calling uh, the Goody Mob. I ended up calling Goody Mob. So the Goody Mob came through there because we knew Brian um, or oh, Bernard Parks. We knew Bernard Parks from Tanya. From Tanya. Oh, yeah, I remember Tanya. Tanya introduced me to Bernard Parks at, at a convention in Miami back in the day. And so he managed the Goody Mob. And so I called Bernard and told him we were at the studio. And so he came there. And so Pac was just going in. I mean, he was going in just on the record so you know, so crazy that, the, that it shorted out. The microphone like almost exploded. Oh, wow. It's like he was yelling and screaming. It was just so distorted because he was like really mad. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. He was like, but he spit out his emotions on the mic. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so it was so powerful that it like it static out. You know what I mean? It was like he was, you know, uh, I mean, it just was like a whole nother, uh, um, it was a different kind of experience, you know what I mean? And a lot of people like the Goody Mob didn't even want to talk about that they was even there because they friends with everybody, right. you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But they was there, left, I was there, you know what I mean? And I was filming, you know, and I had it filmed, so I got it on actually wow. video. And they didn't doing. want to use that in the movie? They didn't want to use it because it was too, it was too, it, it, it stirred up too much, you know what I mean? And there's some parts that he said on the video that he didn't put on the song. Like he talked about Jay Z, he talked about different people. He didn't put that on the album. You know what I mean? So they okay. kind of cut certain pieces out of it. Why? Why would they cut them out? Just because um, aesthetically, like I said, he it did do some distortion when he was talking about a lot of different people. Then he was like, "I'll kill you." You know, Pac was like, "I'm gonna kill you. Yeah, I'm gonna do this." Yeah, he started going crazy, right? So like, "Oh no, we need to lead this off." You know, they didn't want to really. Yeah create more more um, drama than it was, you know what I mean? So did anybody at any point tell him to stop? No, 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 because we all was with it. Okay. <laughs> okay. It was just, we was at war. We was just yeah. like, you know what I mean? It was like, hey, get him, you know what I mean? It was that type of vibe. So nobody, looking back at it, yeah, it was kind of, you know, crazy, but yeah. it wasn't crazy because he really felt like they did something to him, which they did to a certain degree, you know what I mean? Yeah.